Welcome to Arc Tutorials. This is ExpressJS and MySQL CRUD tutorial for beginners. I'll cover end to end about everything that you need to set up a ExpressJS server and interactivity with the MySQL, implement all the rest endpoints using various HTTP methods. Today is the first episode. We'll talk about the introduction and the setup. We will I'll give you an overview of ExpressJS, I'll give you an overview of MySQL, CRUD and then we will also do all the required setup of installations today so that we are ready to start implementing our REST endpoints as well as the entire CRUD features. This is the entire playlist that is there on your screen right now. We will go step by step and implement all of that in different parts. So today, like I said, we'll just go through some overview of these frameworks and then we'll start with the installation process. So what is ExpressJS? ExpressJS is a fast and minimalistic web application framework for Node.js. Express provides robust features and utilities for building web applications and the APIs. In simple terms, ExpressJS allows us to build RESTful endpoints which, is, which are running at the server side. All of the Express code is written in JavaScript, which means you're basically working on top of Node.js and you're building the RESTful endpoints. ExpressJS allows powerful routing system through which we can implement all the HTTP methods like GET, POST, PUT, DELETE. ExpressJS also has templating engines, which means we can build UI at the server side. But in, for, for this particular tutorial, we will be focusing more on the RESTful endpoints. ExpressJS implements middleware concept, which means we can write functions to handle the data which are coming in HTTP responses or the requests. ExpressJS is suitable to build a small application or a large scale complex enterprise applications as well. Now let's talk about MySQL. MySQL is an open source relational database system which is known for its reliability, scalability and performance. MySQL uses SQL, right? SQL, which is structured query language as a language for manipulating and managing data. MySQL allows a client server architecture which means clients can connect to MySQL server and perform database operations, which is where ExpressJS will also come into picture. Through ExpressJS, we will send, we will connect to MySQL and then we will be able to query and retrieve data, create new data, etc. MySQL can be installed on Windows, Linux, Mac or any OS that you are running on. MySQL provides all the necessary features that are required for a database and much more. Basically the concepts of ACID, atomicity, consistency, isolation and durability. MySQL offers various storage engines that we can use or select. Some of them are INODB, MyISAM, etc. MySQL has all the features like transactions, tables, views, stored procedures, triggers, and much, much more. Right. So I'll leave it at that, uh, just the overview, so that I'm sure you're here, so you will be knowing a little bit about Express and MySQL. If you need more information, I can you can search in my channel. There are tutorials on it. Now let's talk about the CRUD operations. CRUD in, in a, any web uh, two tier or three tier architecture stands for create, read, update and delete. Create operation involves inserting new data. Reading is retrieving data from a database. Update is modifying an existing data in the database. And delete of course by the name says removing data or records from the database. CRUD is common to any application that you build on any language, let's say Java, PHP, Ruby, Python, uh, anywhere, right? So any web application that you talk about involves CRUD functionality. We'll be learning how to do that in ExpressJS and our database is MySQL. With that being said, let's start with our installation process and setup required for this project. Before we start, I have downloaded and installed MAMP, which is a distribution that comes on for Mac. Now, similarly, you can download a version called WAMP, which stands for Windows, Apache, MySQL and PHP or Python. 
when you install this you get the database MySQL installed on your system and you have an interface called PHP MyAdmin through which you can manage the MySQL or MySQL's database operations alternatively you can also write SQL queries and do the same operation right so either you use a UI tool or you can use a graphical interface like how I am using right now anywhere whatever you use is fine the idea is that you should have MySQL installed on your system that's a prerequisite okay with that being said let's get started and do all the required dependencies that we need all right so I'm going to I'm going to go to my folder first and go to documents and our tutorials and in this I'm going to create a new brand new folder under learning and I'm going to call it express.js mysql crud all right so it's empty so let's go into learning and express.js mysql crud we are here now the first thing you should do is check the node version that you're running so mine is 20.3.0 which is almost the latest version that is in market also check the npm that it's installed you need these two to even install express.js and mysql connector all right so if you have those things set up the basic things are sql and node and npm if you have these you're good okay all right so now that being said let's get started and do the required installation the first thing we'll do is npm install express this will install the express in our uh, folder right now it has created a simple basic dependency and added express to it but alternatively you can also do npm in it and uh, then do this particular work so I'll just do that and update that file okay so you see now we got that now this doesn't have the dependency at the end usually when you do npm first you would have something like this all right so you would see this structure now now that we have our express install let's do the npm install mysql so now you have your mysql installed and you have your express installed mysql does not install the actual database it will install the library framework that is used to connect to MySQL okay so don't get confused when you do npm install MySQL it doesn't install the database okay a lot of people get confused with that the next thing we'll need is a body parser because when you want to when you want to process the incoming requests that are coming in Express you will need to work with body parser in order to collect that data so you will need that body parser okay module so now that we have installed it let's go ahead and write our first code okay so I'm going to create and I'm going to say index.js this is my file and what we'll do is installing and we have installed the Express.js so let's import it Express and we have also installed the MySQL so let's get that also in place so we have got our Express and MySQL we also installed body parser so I'm going to require body parser okay these are the three things we installed so we got them here now what we'll do is create a simple instance of our application and we are going to say app is equal to express app what we are telling here is create a new instance of express and for now all we'll do is npm dot listen app dot listen now what we are saying is we are starting the server and on 3000 port number and then we'll just throw in a method what it should do we'll say console.log and say server started this is the most basic thing that you can do with okay all right that's all you need for today okay for now we have a lot of work to do 
but this is the most basic thing that you can do so let's go ahead and to run you will write node followed by the file name which is node.js you can see here it says server started that means our application is now ready its server has started and we are good to write our own application interfaces that is apis all right so that's all we will leave it today that's all you need to do as part of your setup remember you need to install three things you need to have mysql installed on your machine check for node version check for npm install the dependencies that we just did which is express mysql and body parser and write this basic code to start the server if you have achieved it till here that means you are good to start writing the next episode code and you are good to go with the chapter 2 thank you so much for joining in this series i hope you will enjoy i hope you will learn i hope you will have fun thank you so much for joining in this episode i'll see you in the next episode we will create our database set up the schema and then we'll start also with the mysql connectivity in express and we'll start extending the code to connect express and mysql so thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode